Well, Georgia has its first scrimmage of the 2023 fall camp under its belt. And let's start off with what we heard from Kirby Smart, guys. Uh, this was not about a, a bunch of install stuff. This was about finding out who wanted to be there, who was tough enough, who wanted to grit this thing out. Guys, it was almost 110 degrees. I don't know what kind of mind you have if you want to be down there, but that's why you come play at Georgia, right? I talked to somebody that was there, and they I would say this person has been to many, 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 many games at Sanford Stadium and many, many probably scrimmages uh, in this, under the staff. And he said it was the hottest by far, not even close on Saturday, what it felt like. He said he was in the shade, and uh, people just – just couldn't breathe. It was so hot. But you know, Kirby Smart loved that to get those guys lathered up and and to uh, you know find out who wants to be there. It kind of hit that wall a little bit. You know, they've been in that, they've been staying at the Georgia Center there together as team. And you get to a point, man, where it's you, you, you start the days start running together. You're tired. Everybody starts feeling a little bit sorry for themselves. And next thing you know, Kirby drags you over to Sanford Stadium, and it's it's important. I mean, it's an important day. So. You know the culture at Georgia. You know how Georgia's been built on toughness and physicality. And then you throw open that in that uh, the old heat factor. I can imagine there was a lot of uh, tape that be evaluated, you know, based off, hey, who can play through this? Because in September in the state of Georgia, it's still hot. Player groups, position groups, Kirby said he wanted to see more out of or play better. The quarterbacks and every skill player around the quarterbacks, it seemed like, kind of uh, got every best shot from the defense that they could have wanted. Um, and that's typically how things go when you start these scrimmages out. The defense always seems to have a leg up. Yeah, I think uh, you, you just – listen, we, we, we've all played high school football, so don't I'm not discounting college football in this program. But everybody that kind of knows, that the defense is ahead at this point. It just is what it is. And then the factors that you just mentioned kind of put that put – that, further away, you know, even with that quarterback and an offensive coordinator, Mike Bobo, those types of things. And uh, you just kind of understand, even NFL, man. I mean, I, I got a chance to watch the Falcons practice two weeks ago and the offense is, they're just, it's timing. There's so much to do with these things. And, uh, you know, it's not panic mode season, but I will say this, I'm not going to sugarcoat the importance of this next scrimmage. And this scrimmage, this scrimmage, they will kind of, this one, you know, from talking to people inside that building, this will kind of start the first depth chart when they break this tape down from yesterday and i'm sure they did that today uh, when they got done with that they kind of had a little piece of what they're looking at depth chart wise but this time next sunday night we won't have it but georgia will have an internal depth chart and how they're going to go towards the first part of the season who can play who can help us right now and who's going to get those reps because if we talked about this 20 hour week uh, that things start getting real real tight so you know this is an important week for georgia but for all these players that are, you know, right now in between those twos and threes, this is a massive week. But not going to sugarcoat it. You hear the things about quarterback, and um, I don't think anybody really took a step forward yesterday. Some through some highs and lows. I think the biggest probably, if I were to sit down with Kirby Smart and ask him tonight, and he would say it publicly, I would think probably the most disappointing thing for him was the drops. I think we all talked to everybody. There was a lot of drops yesterday. There was some third down drops. There was a uh, there was a drop on a play that was kind of wide open and the ball fell into the defender's arms because of it. And uh, it wasn't the quarterback's fault. So that kind of surprised you a little bit, but it's also early. And you still think that this receiving staff and this, uh, this receiving core and this uh, skill skill group is going to be something that's going to be a strength for Georgia. But early on uh, in that first fall scrimmage, the wide receivers and, you know, what I heard, they, they've got to fix those drops. 